page 66. Belt service. The belt transmits the power to the water pump, fan, and alternator. If the belt is loose, it will slip causing weak transmission. The water pump will not work properly. The fan cannot ventilate properly. The alternator will not work well. Consequently, the engine will be hot and electric power will be insufficient. Due to these reasons, the belt must be adjusted properly. A well-adjusted belt, when pressed by a 10 kp force, the laxity value will be about 5 to 10 millimeters, or as specified in the manual. Top hose, pressure cap, radiator, crankshaft pulley, bottom hose, fan belt, starter motor, core plug, heater hoses, alternator, Page 67. The wear of the belt tension and condition. Tools, equipment, and materials. 1. Ruler. 2. Belt pressure test. 3. Technician tools. 4. Training car. Fan. 5 to 10 millimeters. Adjustment screw. Alternator. Anchor bolt. Pulley of the crankshaft. Procedures. 1. Rotate the engine to check the belt's condition. 2. Push down on the belt between the alternator and the water pump with approximately 10 kp of pressure. 3. Measure the laxity range of the belt to see whether it corresponds with the determined value about 5 to 10 millimeters. 4. Rotate the engine to move the belt. 5. Push down and measure again. The value should be the same. Suggestions 1. A loose belt makes the water pump and alternator work improperly. The engine will be hot and little electricity is charged for battery. 2. A too tight belt can break the water pump bearings quickly. 3. When measuring belt tension, you should measure at many points. Replace a broken belt. Page 68. Adjusting belt tension. Tools, equipment, and materials. 1. Ruler. 2. Belt pressure test. 3. Technician tools. 4. Hammer. 5. Training car. Procedures. 1. Loosen the two lower alternator nuts to move the alternator. 2. Loosen the nut. Adjust the space moderately. 3. Use a stick or tire tool to pry the alternator away from the engine until the belt is tense. 4. Push down on the belt with about 10 kp until it drops about 5 to 10 millimeters. 5. Tighten the adjustment nut and alternator nuts tightly. Suggestions 1. Tire tool might break a fragile part. 2. Tightness of every point on the belt moved to measurement point should be equal. Page 69. Changing belt. Tools, equipment, and materials. 1. Technician tools. 2. Training car. 3. Belt. Procedures. 1. Loosen the two lower alternator nuts to move the alternator. 2. Loosen the adjustment nut moderately. 3. Move the alternator toward the engine, loosening the belt, then remove the belt from the track. 4. 
insert the new belt in the pulley of alternator, water pump, and the engine. 5. Adjust belt's tension and tighten the three nuts tightly. Suggestions 1. Belt tracks must not be damaged. They must be aligned. Page 70. Belt inspection result. 1. Belt condition inspection. 1.1. Overall condition. Good. Defective. 1.2. Tension test. Value. Millimeters. 1.3. Overall belt tension. Equal at every point. Not equal. 2. Adjusting belt. 2.1. Belt pressure force. 2.2. Belt drop. Millimeters. 2.3. Summary of belt tension. Appropriate. Slack. Tight. 3. Changing belt. 3.1. Old belt condition. 3.2. Pulley groove condition. Water pump. Engine. Alternator. Vocabulary, ventilate, laxity, tension, faucet, corrode, prudent, lid, distort, dismantling, clog, thermostat, pour.